channel if you have not like and subscribe the channel this please like and subscribe the channel this is the place where you can learn microsoft intune so if you are new to this uh, channel we are making video for if for mobile devices how to manage the windows mac machine windows devices android and ios through microsoft intune so if you want to learn more about microsoft intune don't forget to like and subscribe the channel <clears throat> today in this video i am going to say you so if you are managing or if you have a plan to deploy or enroll your windows devices with hybrid join right hybrid join means you have the on premise ad connector and also you want to use the intune or enroll your windows laptop or windows devices <clears throat> to microsoft intune not fully cloud because you you organize some sort you want you don't want to move you enroll the devices or move to the fully cloud so you have the all the objects attributes user accounts in your on premise how you can sync your <clears throat> your uh, on premise objects attributes user uh, groups to to the cloud active directory or microsoft entra uh, uh, and you can enroll in a hybrid join as a hybrid join so hybrid join means you can enforce the the group policy from ad or from microsoft intune through gpu and i mean the hybrid means you control both both way some 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 policy you can enforce through microsoft uh, active directory and few of the conditional access policy and few other efforts and policy or any anything you can also deploy uh, or patch through uh, microsoft intune console so <clears throat> so if you see if you can see my screen here this is the article i will put this article in 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 the video description so that you can always go and refer and read i am not going to read this entire article i will just quickly describe how it will impact if you are using the the connector active directory connector in your instance and or if you are already using it so what you have to do how you can migrate to the managed service account because this is important for the new and also for the existing customer so today as you can see microsoft autopilot uses intune connector for active directory to deploy the devices that are microsoft entra hybrid join am i correct so if i go to the microsoft intune and if you go to this is microsoft intune console and if you go to the connector right you see here <coughs> there is a <coughs> there is a connector so connectors in token and here and in the under the connector you will see microsoft not here this is for certificate connector so if you go and click on here and window autopilot here and you see intune connector for active directory right so where you have to go you have to go to the tenant status connector status and click on windows autopilot because we are talking about and once you click then <coughs> this is uh, this is the pre requirement you you have to configure because if you want to plan to use the hybrid azure ready join so you have to configure this intune connector so if you already have the intune connector installed right which you have installed on your windows machine or window virtual machine uh, then maybe you have added here right so how you can configure the intune connector it's already there you have to download the on-premise intune connector if you open it will download the 
the OD is a connector bootstrap.axe and you you have to install that this, this exe OD is a connector offline domain join connector to your virtual machine or if you have any uh, virtual server and once you install before installing this uh, ODJ connector you have you, you, you need to uh, we, you have to complete some pre requirement like .NET should be installed I have, I have already made video on how to install those connectors if you are using it so currently if you are leveraging or enrolling your windows <coughs> windows devices as uh, as uh, as a hybrid join so you must have the you you must be using the on-premise connector because without this connector you can't even enroll your win windows devices as a hybrid so so if you are using this and if you have uh, if you have a uh, configure this connector you must be aware that while configuring this connector you have to put the service account right so that that, that service account uh, as soon as you enroll the windows devices that service account will act on your behalf and it will uh, it will get the object created the whole machine name created in 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 the computer or you uh, on in the active directory okay so that the all the policies uh, the group policy and everything will get applied <clears throat> so what you have to do if you are using and you have the connector listed here maybe you have multiple connector just for the load balancing so if you are using the on-premise connector so what Microsoft is changing to strengthen security for our customer environment they have updated the Intune connector for Active Directory to use a Microsoft service accounts instead of system account so the old connector which i which i have just showed you from here the old connector which uses the local system account will no longer be available for downloading the intune currently if you see we are able to download it the exe file right the old connector which uses the local system account no longer be available to download intune and we stop being supported in late may 2025 so make sure we are in 25 we are in march it will stop supporting in late may 2025 at that point we will stop accepting enrollment from old from old connector bill so if you have any old connector bill you have to follow the guidelines below to update your environment to the new connector so <clears throat> the old connector bill will continue to work for existing customer who already have it install until the end of support date and is available for download here microsoft download center so I'll put this link for you in the description so that you can also download it right but yeah they mention the old connector build will continue to work if you have already installed and configured it until they announce the end of support date currently they're just blocking the download from <coughs> starting from May 2025 you can go through this link I, I if I, I will keep reading then maybe you thinking that uh, you're just reading in the video right you can always go through while you watch the video i mean there is no point to watch the video so i'll just show quickly what is my managed service account so as as mentioned is the managed service accounts are domain account that that have the automatic password management are generally granted just enough permission and privilege to perform their duties so the standalone is msa can only be used on a single domain join machine and can only be access resources within that domain a managed service account can run the services on a computer in a secure and easy to maintain manner while maintaining the capability to connect to network resources such as like a specific user principle so all these reasons make them the better fit for the intune connector for active directory than the current system account so you can you can compare the the account permission required between the new and old connector you see in the old connector we use the system account and new connector will use the msa right the domain and msa so you need the local account right the password management is set by the users right of course or the domain rules <coughs> and here it's managed by the domain and automatically reset so you don't have to bother about with the new connector so you can see there is five privileges are required 
it's a maximum and you can see the registry access has the full and in place because it's a service local service account right read and write it's only explicit explicit and enrollment right it has full same computer object if connector is on the same machine on domain controller of course it's unlimited if connector uh, of course you will not be installing I'm, I'm sure you have not installed the connector on the same domain controller uh, <coughs> because nobody wants to, we have we must have the separate dom uh, the 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 intune connector for windows devices if connector is not on the domain control delegation is required right and you need the domain admin to delegate the permission so this is uh, how you can set up the connector before you first you need to uninstall the existing connectors right if you have uh, already in, have the intune connector right this one uh, the exe file you need to uninstall this bootstrap.exe right and to install that new connector you need the following minimum requirement right download the connector build from intune which uh, which is uh, there and then microsoft intra account with intune service uh, administrator permission so you need intune service permission and these are the dot net should be there these are the pre requirements i think it, it was previously there as well and then you can uh, you can install it with the domain uh, with the domain local with local administrative privileges and domain accounts should must be created this objects permission and then you can you can have a look of how you can install similarly in previously we just sign in here now you will see these two options earlier in the previous in the previous when you're using the on-premise connector you won't see <coughs> you won't see this configure manage service account now we have the uh, manage service account here and you can configure the unit and domain i, I think it's almost similar to this one so you must migrate to the microsoft <coughs> this new managed service account instead of the local account to enhance the security and once the connector will be added you can see the connector will see you can see it here once you add it okay so this is uh, actually very good uh, and you make sure you use this and just follow this article so once you once you install this new connector it will actually enhance to enhance security by reducing unnecessary privilege or permission associated with the local system account because earlier we were using local system accounts and this will this will be uh, exposed right if in case exposed by the local system add-on it may be uh, it's harmful for the organization so better use for the microsoft service account microsoft service account for the intune connector if you are planning to use or enroll or if you're already using uh, your windows devices or managing windows devices as a hybrid make sure you perform this before may or maybe after may because it's <coughs> still supported they have not announced when it actually end of support but you can download it here i'll put both the links in the video description i hope you learn how to do uh how to the, the new stuffs about the intune connector don't forget to like and subscribe till then thank you have a good day